Okay, so this is what I've done so far. I've got this. I call it no gravity. What it does is you can set for how long you want it to be active for. So if I hit it, no gravity until that time has elapsed in which the gravity will be put back. So if I set that for point five, don't know why I saved it. It'll last for that long. Also I set it so you can turn it invisible in the start of the game or not. But that's just something to make shots look cooler. Other things I've done is I have set some of the meshes in there to now work. So we've got the water mill able to rotate. So if I show you in game. for a ride. And if you're feeling generally mean, you can set it to like a hundred. And see if you can get the ball on there and then yeet it away. Same goes for the saw blade. Now in and can whack the ball. And the hand saw. Hand saw is a bit more complicated than everything else because it's got a target location. So if I make this 200. Quick play. play. You can see it starts soaring. And if I hit it, this will launch the player in the desired lo direction. Yeah. The other thing. I have been working on is this. I made the box a bit big and I'm using the mushroom as an example. But what it does is you choose how effective it's going to be. So it tends to default and it will bounce the player back. No matter what direction you hit it from, just like the pinball machines. Uh, if you set it really high, that's like normal one to one or something. If you set it really high, it'll get much worse. And then much worse. And all it's doing is reflecting the amount of velocity. That's being into it times that amount. But tens normal. So there's some new things and old things added to it. 